the latest from London. President Trump and Queen Elizabeth joining hundreds of veterans at a ceremony to commemorate the 75th anniversary of D-Day as the president makes headlines with a new interview overnight. Our senior national correspondent, Terry Moran, he starts us off from Buckingham Palace with the latest. Good morning, Terry. Good morning, Robin. What a scene it is in Portsmouth, which was one of the main staging areas for the D-Day invasion 75 years ago. Queen Elizabeth, the last world leader who was an active participant in that war, a living witness. President Trump right by her side, but even on this solemn occasion, it shadowed a bit. The president's own comments about the royal family and other things stirring a bit of controversy. This morning, as hundreds of veterans are gathering to commemorate the 75th anniversary of D-Day, they're also waiting to see a show of solidarity between President Trump and Queen Elizabeth. But the president also had to answer for his tiff with another member of the royal family in an interview on Good Morning Britain with host and Celebrity Apprentice winner Piers Morgan. Do you think Meghan Markle's nasty or not? No. I said, well, I didn't know she was nasty. I wasn't referring to she's nasty. I said she was nasty about me. And essentially, I didn't know she was nasty about me. So I said, but you know what? She's doing a good job. I hope she enjoys her life. The American-born Duchess of Sussex is on maternity leave, and she didn't cross paths with President Trump during his visit here after he called her nasty when an interviewer told him Markle publicly criticized him back in 2016. As misogynistic as Trump is and so vocal about it. The president was also put on the spot about his stance on climate change, an issue he and Prince Charles are at odds over. The president said he and Charles had a great conversation. He wants to make sure future generations have climate that is good climate as opposed to a disaster. And I agree. And while he wouldn't say whether he believes in climate change, he notes he's noticed a change. I believe that there's a change in weather, and I think it changes both ways. Don't forget, it used to be called global warming. Now it's actually called extreme weather because with extreme weather, you can't miss. And as this trip winds down, the president's also looking back at a major issue in light of the latest shooting tragedy in Virginia Beach. I mean, nobody's talked about silences very much. I'm going to you know, seriously look at it. Uh, I don't love the idea of it. I don't like the idea. What's happening is crazy, OK? It's crazy. Those are the issues and controversies of today. But that scene in Portsmouth, there's something timeless about it. President Trump, in his remarks, quoting a prayer that was written and read by President Franklin Roosevelt on the day of the D-Day invasion. Uh, the solidarity between Britain and America remains. That's what this trip is about. George? And the president heading to Normandy tomorrow. Okay, Terry, thanks very much. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.